One of the greatest advantages of owning a yacht is that you can take your ship anywhere in the world. If your cruise ship is large enough, you can travel between cities or even across the open ocean. Small ships can be used to circumnavigate the world. So let's dive into the video and know more about these yachts. Inspiration from Lamborghini Italian manufacturer Ferruccio Lamborghini founded the company in 1963 to produce a sophisticated grand tourer that could compete with offerings from established brands such as Ferrari. The company's first model, Model Zero GT, launched in the was the mid-1960s. Lamborghini is best known for its 1966 Miura Sports Coupe, which used a mid-rear engine and rear-wheel drive. Lamborghini grew rapidly in its first decade, but sales fell after the global financial crisis and the oil crisis of 1973. Ferruccio Lamborghini sold the company to Georges-Henri Rossetti and René Lehmer and retired in 1974. The company went bankrupt in 1978 and was placed under the curatorship of brothers Jean-Claude and Patrick Mimran in 1980. Italian designer Moro Lecce created this luxury yacht concept with design and styling cues from sports car manufacturer Lamborghini. Directly inspired by the lines of the new Reventon, Lamborghini's yacht mimics intakes to create a signature Lamborghini look. Regardless of the style, the yacht is 15 meters long, 4 meters wide and 3.8 meters high. To keep the boat light and fast, Lecce intends to use carbon fiber or Kevlar in the lamination process. Coron McGregor's New Purchase The highest paid athlete in the world enjoys his immense wealth. UFC star Conor McGregor, who made $180 million last year, is launching an extraordinary new purchase, the $3.6 million Technomar Lamborghini 63 speedboat. My Lamborghini is ready, McGregor 33 announced in an Instagram post while recovering from a horrific leg injury he suffered in his third fight with Dustin Poirier at UFC 264. A collaboration between Technomar and Lamborghini was announced in June 2020, with only 63 boats starting to be produced, to commemorate Lamborghini's founding in 1963. Sources say McGregor ordered in October at Technomar's headquarters in Italy, receiving yacht number 12 in honor of his Irish whiskey company, Proper Number 12, which he founded in 2018 and sold for $150 million in April. For now, however, McGregor may have to wait a while before enjoying his Lamborghini 63. He recently underwent surgery to repair a fractured tibia and fibula and is expected to need at least six weeks to get those marine bones back. Tour of Supercar of the Sea According to sources, the yacht is known as the Supercar of the Sea. The Lamborghini 63 is 63 feet long and has two man V12 engines, each producing 2,000 horsepower. The yacht thus reaches a speed of 60 knots and is considered one of the fastest ships in its class. The hull is made from fiberglass for strength, while the carbon fiber construction is designed to keep the weight and center of gravity down. The exterior of the boat has been designed to reproduce Lamborghini DNA, with the boat being inspired by the Sion FKP-37. The Verdigea fuselage livery is the same color as Lamborghini supercars, and the carbon fiber fuselage features windows similar to the brand's famous hexagon. The dashboard graphics and aviator styling also mimic those of the car. The steering wheel is modeled after the Aventador steering wheel, while the pilot's leather seats are inspired by the Hurricane Evo, and of course, McGregor has one too. No wonder a cruise ship of this size is so fast with 4,000 horsepower, thanks to two original 12s, two 24.2 liter V12 types of diesel. Futuristic in style, Lambo's design language is evident in the Y-shaped headlights. Conor McGregor's yacht also features a Lamborghini Sion-inspired dashboard, complete with a Lambo steering wheel. Seeing McGregor wheel this around Monaco waters on a recent family trip should serve as a reminder to everyone who can afford a toy like this, go out there and put it to good use. One can design his dream yacht. What if you designed a ship as if it were a high-performance, high-speed supercar? The Italian design studio Officina Armor has taken the aesthetics and technical solutions of the Lamborghini Centenario Roadster as a model. The Officina Amare motorboat is designed in the traditional Lamborghini design with lots of dotted lines and flat surfaces. On the A43 Lamborghini Edition boat concept, this effect is immediately apparent on the flat matte black carbon body with black gloss inserts on the nose and yellow detailing, sloping windshield, large side air intakes, sloping stern and narrow LED headlamps. 
The first Lamborghini cruise ship has arrived in North America. In 2020, the Italian supercar manufacturer announced a partnership with Italian superyacht maker Technomar to produce a limited range of luxury yachts for the global market. Now the first ship to be completed in the U.S. is waiting for its first customer at the docks in South Florida. The Technomar name for the Lamborghini 63 carries a few different connotations. The ship is 63 feet long, has a top speed of 63 knots, which translates to about 72 miles per hour on land, and only 63 of them will ever be built. That number is no coincidence, it's kind of an easter egg, pointing to 1963 when Ferruccio Lamborghini founded his eponymous car company. Each of the roughly five dozen yachts has a starting price of around $3.5 million, and that is before the inevitable choice of color, material, trim, and other special touches. Supplied through Miami-based Prestige Marine, dealership AD says more Technomars are on the way for Lamborghini 63s. Italian automaker Lamborghini makes ocean well engines in addition to the work they do with their Lamborghini supercars, so it's only natural that they would eventually enter the world of boats with their model. The Lamborghini 63 yacht was their first limited project, and the result was designed for Lamborghini enthusiasts, with features and a price point that make it a delightful choice for current Lamborghini customers and those who can afford to splurge on one luxury fast yacht. Pricing of Lamborghini Yachts Lamborghini Yacht was originally priced at $3.5 million, which means it's no joke for a yacht. But would you expect less from a yacht built by Lamborghini? But here's the thing, they only made 63 of these, which is partly why it's called 63. And because numbers are so limited, the resale market has seen the price of the dish go up significantly even though it's only released in 2022. You can buy a lot of used yachts for $5 million. Technomar takes direct inspiration from the design details of the Lamborghini Sion FKP37. Externally, it's easy enough to draw parallels between a car and a yacht simply because they both need to be very aerodynamic and sleek, but Technomar managed to do a lot more to make it look that way. Take the Y-shaped headlights for example, a detail straight out of the Lamborghini playbook, or the zigzag steps at the rear of the yacht inspired by the rear profile of the Aventador. The yacht even has a three-bar taillight, a detail seen on most Lamborghini racers, and the hexagonal shape of the see-through side panels is a direct reference to the air intakes under the headlights on most modern Lambos. What's more, the yacht even features the same color scheme, although cooler colors like blue and green work better on the water, while warmer colors like orange and yellow are more suitable for landing. This is an amazing style copy that shows the Lamborghini Speed brand is truly versatile and can be easily worn anywhere. Inside, the shape, materials, and even equipment faithfully reproduce the components used in the creation of Lamborghini vehicles. This resemblance is visible both on the deck and below. Lambo's Add Personal Customization program even takes care of room configuration for Lamborghini 63 yacht buyers. Features of the A43 include side nose thrusters in the nose, airflow diversion tunnels that provide aerodynamic lift, and engine cooling air intakes in a carbon fiber body. On board, there's a dining table, champagne compartment, air conditioning, sofa, toilet, wash basin, and bathroom with shower. The passenger compartment looks more like the interior of a sports car, though there's room for signature boat leather and wood trim. Carbon has become the main element of decoration here. The back is a large relaxation area with a champagne case. You can hide the two Seabob towers under the transom, and there's a shelf for bikes or surfboards. So that was all for today. Hope you liked the video. See you in the next video.